Last week on the Epic Family Road Trip, we embarked on a year-long journey around North America. We drove from Ontario, Canada to New Orleans, Louisiana before heading west to Texas, where we spent time with friends and family experiencing that incredible state. This week, we continued west to New Mexico and headed from Big Bend National Park across the oil fields of Texas to the beautiful city of Santa Fe. I woke up, what a sunrise on the sea. Such a precious gift to me. A salty breeze and the waves. After driving from Big Bend National Park. We are now in uh, just south of Roswell in Carlsbad, New Mexico. Kind of a beautiful spot here and we're staying at a KOA. And so we're getting set up. We're gonna make a fire, do some s'mores, but first the kids are doing a bit of road school. Our route was set for Moab, Utah, the place we had taken our bikes along for. We were so excited to get out and hit the trails, but first we noticed that the map took us through the northwest corner of Colorado. The quaint mountain town of Durango and the ancient cliff dwellings in Mesa Verde National Park were right along the way. So the KOA was closed. We're a bit early, just a couple of weeks ahead of the camping season. So most of the RV parks that we normally park at are closed. But the kind folks here at the Doubletree by Hilton, right here in town, allowed us to park along the curb. So that was awesome. We have a place to stay tonight, right under that gorgeous mountain, right walking distance from the town of Durango. I like this place. It's on my top 10 for sure. Hopefully we can get our mountain bikes out and do some mountain biking. Everybody's into sports here. Mountain climbing, mountain biking, hiking, trekking, snowboarding, it's all here. Fly fishing, my kind of place. Visiting Mesa Verde National Park was a beautiful and fascinating experience. At about 7,000 feet above sea level, we hit the first snow on the trip since we left Canada. We then headed to Moab, Utah, the gateway to an incredible world of red rock formations, adventure sports, and arches and canyonlands national parks. And the waves. We set up camp at the Moab KOA campground, which had a beautiful view of the LaSalle mountain range in the distance and the red rock desert all around us. Once we got settled into camp, we drove the Jeep with the mountain bikes over to the famous Slick Rock mountain biking trail. Slick Rock is one of the most popular mountain biking trails in the world. There are endless breathtaking views and unique rock formations along the trail. We then headed into Arches National Park. Arches National Park is only 10 minutes outside of Moab. We were excited to see some of the world famous sites like Balanced Rock and hike up to the delicate arch. We made the trek up to uh, what's called Delicate Arch in Arches National Park. An awesome little trail, fair number of people on it. I think it's a couple miles and it's pretty much straight up, but very family friendly, very hikeable, easy to do. All you need is some water, walking sticks, and backpacks not needed. And the arch is spectacular. Definitely something you got to do if you're in this area. I 
hurricane in your head. We then spend a day chilling at camp, catching up on some work and school. There's a devil in your stare. You don't need wings to fly. You don't need love to cry. Ten people in your sales department. You're going to start to You don't need a heart to realize. You need a soul to die. And oh, I can see you. There's a hurricane in your head There's an angel on your shoulder devil in About 35 minutes outside of Moab is Canyonlands National Park. I recommend getting a state park card. It's good for 12 months and it's 80 bucks. You're, it's good for a vehicle of about five people. We've already paid for it. We've had how many parks, guys? Big Bend, Mesa Verde, Canyonlands just now, and what was the other one called? Arches. And just there we paid for it. Now we can spend the rest of the summer going to national parks for free. Very good deal. I recommend it. We headed to Island in the Sky, which is a flat-topped mesa overlooking much of the park, which consists of landscapes carved by the Colorado River. difficult to capture the beauty of this place and the size of everything and the depth of the canyons. We're just surrounded in spectacular, spectacular scenery. This is Canyonlands National Park and we went out to the Grand View and it's a panoramic view of all the canyons and the valley and the mountains in the background. It's wonderful. If you're traveling with small kids, I'd be very careful. Make sure they're in a backpack or under tight watch because right right on the edge here are you know four or five hundred foot cliffs that drop straight down or even overhang so it's not a safe place for kids to be running around in fact I haven't seen any I think parents know that but just be careful when you come here but man you'll be blown away a, a camera just will not do justice to what we're looking at here the next day we return to Canyonlands to tackle the Sinkline Loop Trail the Sinkline Loop is an 8.9 mile strenuous backcountry loop trail. We have another video which goes into more detail about our whole experience on the Sinkline Loop Trail, which got a bit scary at times. And then we're good. Okay. 5.9 kilometers more. That's oh. like more than what we just did. Sun is gonna go down soon. We still got a long ways to go. We have to get up and out of that canyon up there before dark. But we're gonna motor on. I think it's about three more miles. We've gotta get going. <laughs> you made it. Tough trail. Never again. Oh, come on. Oh. Maybe not today, but you're going to sleep good tonight. Probably. After a strenuous day of hiking in Canyonlands, we headed back out to the Slick Rock Mountain Biking Trail. Biking. Soon after hitting the trail, Daniel popped a tire. Is it right there? Is it that valve? Up with the yeah. pump. I'll get a little tighter. Yeah, thank you very much. You bet. Yeah. That was going to be a long walk home. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You bet, guys. Right now, me, Dad, and Dan are heading out four miles out of town to a new bike trail and just try it out. Because yesterday we did the Slick Rock bike trails and it was really awesome and fun. 
but we just want to try some other trails. What happened, Bri? Just a bump. Thought I could go over, went too fast. Uh, Fell right over. You had fun and you got the scars to prove it. Yeah. Alright, go for it, boys. While we were mountain biking on the Slick Rock Trail, my tire went flat and a guy named Rex helped me and we put a new tube in. But then the next day it uh, ran flat again. We went to the Spider Bike Shop. And he found that there's just a thorn in it, so we got it all fixed up. So uh, a cactus thorn punctured the sidewall, so it would just keep blowing tubes. Luckily he found that, we never thought that could happen. So if you're riding out here, make sure you prepare, because it's easy to blow a tire. All right, man, let's hit the trail. So I had a business call today and it went longer than I expected but it was an awesome call business comes first work play care I had to work but I had also promised the boys a ride mountain biking and there's no better place than Moab or places like this to combine work play and care so we got out hit the trails awesome ride what do you think guys oh yeah <laughs> Nice. We would then leave Moab, Utah and begin the journey to Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. We first headed to Bryce Canyon National Park where we made a quick stop to bike to a beautiful outlook before driving to Zion National Park in eastern Utah. Zion National Park, which is where I am now, and we're down in the canyon here. There's a road right through the mountain. In fact, what you see behind me up there, there's you can see one of the holes for the tunnel. There's a tunnel that goes through that entire mountain and comes across. It's pretty neat down here. You gotta check this out. Zion National Park, right in southern Utah, on our way to the Grand Canyon. Those eyes you take me to the start. Sweetheart, sweetheart Ooh. Ooh. In Zion, we hiked the Emerald Pools Trail. One of our favorite things to do when we visit new places is hiking or biking on the local trails. Doing this not only provides beautiful views of our surroundings, but also gives us an opportunity to get some exercise in the great outdoors after spending long hours in the motorhome while driving across the country. I'm a kid again. We then carried on south to Grand Canyon National Park in the beautiful state of Arizona. The ghost on marble steps into the rain. Into the rain. You make the weight of the Street dog eyes anticipate me. I appear again in a vibrant light.
Ghost on marble steps into the rain. When we made it to the Grand Canyon, we hiked along the South Rim. Make the weight of the world feel like nothing. Check this out, 3,000 feet to the bottom. In the distance you can see the Colorado River carving away, making the canyon deeper every day, every year. It took millions of years to create this huge expanse, expansive, massive, grand canyon. One of the most spectacular sights I've ever seen. Dan, what do you think, buddy? It's crazy. You really can't grasp what we're looking at here until you come here in person. You gotta do it. We hiked along the rim to architect Mary Coulter's lookout studio and her Desert View Watchtower, which provided breathtaking views of the canyon and the Colorado River below. Stay tuned for episode 6 of season 1 of the Epic Family Road Trip as we continue on our journey around North America.